Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to connect or SSH to your Linux instance using the EC2 instance connect option. So in your EC2 dashboard, you have different options to connect to your instance. One is EC2 instance connect, session manager, SSH client or serial console. I have already created a video where I have shown you how to create, connect and delete an AWS Linux instance. In this video, I have shown you how you can connect or SSH to your instance using the terminal or the command line shell. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect to your instance using the instance connect option. So before we do that, let me just tell you that this EC2 instance connect option works only with Amazon Linux or with the Ubuntu instance only. It does not work with any of the other Linux flavors in Amazon. Here in my EC2 dashboard, and I'm going to go and click on instances, click on launch instance. Here we are going to launch an Amazon Linux machine. So I'm going to name this as Instance Connect. You can name it anything you want. So I'm going to go give it a name Instance Connect. It's going to be T2 Micro. And I'm going to create a key pair for this demo, which is going to be Instance Connect again. So Instance Connect, selecting the key pair type, and I'm selecting the .pem format. If you're using with PuTTY, you can use the .ppk, which is used in PuTTY for Windows user. So I'm going to click on Create Key Pair and save this file which will not be used because you're using the instance connect option where you don't need to have any other third party app applications so i'm going to go and select the uh, security group so i'm going to select a security group which is default make sure you select a security group which has port 22 which is the port for ssh open or else you won't be able to connect to your instance so i'm going to select the default security group and i'm going to click on launch instance so now this instance is going to be launched and it will take some time to come up. So you can see it's in pending state and if I click on this instance, I, this option is blurred yet. So I have to wait for some time for it to come in running state and then I can connect to my instance. So you can see we have already downloaded a key pair which you can use to SSH in your instance using the CLI. So you can run a command which is SSH I key name and then the username at the rate host. So this is the SSH command which we use to connect to our instance using the CLI or the terminal. But in this session, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the EC2 instance connect option to connect your instance. So I'm going to wait till my instance is going to come up. All right, so now my instance is in running state. But before we go ahead and connect to the instance with the instance connect, we need to make sure that our instance security group has port 22 enabled. So I have my port 22 enabled, which means I can connect to my instance using the SSH. So I'm going to click on connect option here. And then here you have the username, which is EC2 user, the public IP, which is the host name. And if I click on connect, a new tab is going to open, which is going to connect to my instance. So with EC2 instance connect, you don't need to have any third party applications. You know, don't need PuTTY, you don't need terminal or anything. It is just in the browser. So you can see now I am inside my EC2 instance, which is my instance connect that we just launched. So now I can do anything I want. For example, if I want to update all packages, I can run sudo em update and it will start updating the package, which means I can do anything I want in my instance, which means I have successfully connected to my instance using the EC2 instance connect option. So I hope you have understood how to connect to it an instance using the EC2 instance connect. If you want to see other options, how to connect, go to my channel and visit the videos. I have, I'm posting a lot of videos around cloud and DevOps. So if you want to learn more about cloud and DevOps, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.